Hey guys, this will be a short demo video on how to draw scales and it's one of those techniques that will help you out whenever um, you have uh, animals like lizards or fish or dragons that you want to draw. So let me show you pretty much um, how not to draw scales and I'll do the round version. So when you're drawing scales, you don't want to put them in a row right below each other. It's kind of awkward and it's hard for me to even do it. So they don't really fall in a straight line. The more diagonal and a better way to draw them freehand is you draw a row of scales first and then you go to the bottom part of the scale and you start there and you want to loop it to the other bottom tip of this next scale okay so let me draw a little bit larger I'm going to start at the bottom tip come down and get to the next bottom tip so if you do them quick enough you should be able to get a better uniform um, of the scale and it won't look so awkward because you might end up having scales that are like don't look great but if you go fast enough they'll look a little bit better and in order to get this fast of course it takes practice so this is a good thing to do in between your drawings if you just want to do it all hey I'm just going to draw a bunch of scales and see if I can get it right um, and get better at it so so this is the freehand technique the other technique that I wanted to show you is using guides and um, all you need to do is pretty much draw uh, diamonds so let's say we have five guides this way. You want to draw them in a diamond pattern. Okay, and now you have a location to draw your scales in. Let's put a few more guides. Okay, so I'm going to start on the top row. And since they're already pointy, this helps us out in, in doing pointy scales. But let's try to round them out. And what you want to do is you want to go to the next scale right, right next to it, right below. So you want to do this. Get to the next row. And it just kind of helps you out and they're still uh, pretty much offset. If you want to be perfect at it, um, of course, let's draw another sample here. So let's do some pointy scales. These will be a little bit easier to draw because it's already the shape of the uh, uh, pointy scale, except you just want to curve your lines that was a mistake of course we all do them so you want to curve your line on the along the edge of the guides and of course of course it takes practice so So a big tip to um, help you out is right before you're going to add scales to your drawing, practice on a different sheet of paper and get into the habit of making them. And it also helps you to warm up to uh, getting your scales strong. And uh, when you get to your actual drawing, 
the one that go really light also, which will help you out, of course. So stick with a 2H pencil or 3H, um, something light, and um, uh, sketch in your scale and lightly. So you don't have to go straight on like this. So um, let's go ahead and do one more over here with guides. So I'm, I'm actually going to sketch them in instead of going with a straight hard line. That way I can go back over them later. But see, I don't have to guess anymore. I don't have to spend time erasing, guessing, erasing again, because my guidelines will help me out. And there are a lot of creatures out there that have scales. Reptiles, snakes, dragons, fish. Now when it comes to dragons, there's different types of scales with those, but we'll get into that later. Right now it's all about these uh, fish type scales. So you can do it this way. And here's an example of what you can create with scales. So here I have a koi fish that I sketched out um, and also uh, an Asian style dragon. Uh, of course with the horns and the open jaw and it looks like it's just roaring. So, And if you have the scales looking good, uh, you have a more believable drawing and also makes for a better drawing so if you can go with round scales uh, to do for example koi fish designs um, or pointy scales to get your dragons hope this helps and remember to subscribe so i can make more short videos like this one thanks a lot